ಓಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನತಿ ಮಿರಾಂಧಸ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜುನ ಶಲಾಕಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರುನ್ ಮಿಲಿತಂ ಜೇನ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುವೇ ನಮಃ ನಮ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾದಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪೃಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿತಿ ನಾಮಿನಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತೆ ದೇವೆ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣಿ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷಾಯ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶತಾರಿಣಿ ಜಯೋ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀ ವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯಂ ಉದ್ಧಿರೇತ್ ನಷ್ಟ ಪ್ರಾಯಶು ಅಭದ್ರೇಶು ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಭಾಗವತ ಸೇವೆಯ ಭಗವತಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಶ್ಲೋಕೆ ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭವತಿ ನೈಷ್ಠಿಕಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಭುಜೀಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ಕಾನ್ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆರ್ ಇನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವ್ಯಾಸ ದೇವ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಇನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ವ್ಯಾಸ ದೇವ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಮೆನಿ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ the puranas mahabharata and everything um, so he was still uh, feeling guilty or he was not satisfied and then uh, he approaches um, narad ji right narad muni and then narad muni instructs him that uh, so all in your work right so you have not glorified the lord and then so post that uh, he starts writing shrimad bhagavatam eh? so that's the thing and then um, we all know that uh, uh, shrimad bhagavatam was actually spoken by vyasadev to shukamuni right um, and shukamuni spoke this to parikshit maharaj when parikshit maharaj had his last seven days yeah and uh, we spoke uh, even that um, shrimad bhagavatam has got 18000 verses yeah so and last last week we went through that um, shloka and we got we went through the purport also yeah so the same thing we'll continue but today it's arjuna's prayers yeah so our session goes in uh, that way right so all the prayers right so after that it will be queen kunti's prayer afterwards it's bhishma and um, after that the ladies of hastinapur then shukadev goswami yeah? then kardama muni devahuti druva yeah? maharaj prathu and then prayers by ritrasura yeah? king Chit- chitrakretu prahlad gajendra yeah it goes on so we have got a list of prayers which move on yeah so today <clears throat> we'll continue with uh, arjuna's prayers yeah? and prabhu ji is um, you know right so we are directly reading it from shrimad bhagavatam veda base yeah so we are not uh, going through any of the decks yeah so all these things we'll be reading the purport yeah the translation purport and the shloka yeah and then so we'll be moving on with our session okay so i need your help in reading the translation the purports yeah so anyhow so today's purports are not that lengthy which we had uh, last time yeah so we'll have um, the prayers uh, from uh, arjuna okay so today uh, let me actually give the backdrop okay so why arjuna is praying right in um, shrimad bhagavatam we know that uh, he prayed in bhagavad gita when he was on the battlefield right um, and uh, he didn't uh, knew so whether he should fight with his relatives and um, kill them 
or say should you take sanyas and all those things right those were the interactions which happened in right so now we'll be um, the backdrop is once again arjuna actually prays krishna so anyone knows what is this backdrop any idea why arjuna had to pray once pray once again to lord krishna because one was for bhagavad gita i have already revealed it but what is this instance any guesses uh, he is in the battlefield and he doesn't want to fight his relatives prabhu last time we adjusted your mouth piece it was much better can you do that now also prabhu uh, prabhu ji it was uh, he is in the battlefield and he is uh, not wanting to fight his uh, relatives yeah so therefore he is wanting uh, lord krishna to show him the path and to tell him what his duty is and how he should uh and kill his relatives okay yeah that was bhagavad gita okay so here um so the, the backdrop is different prabhu so here so that happened so that was um, before in when the fight was going on the mahabharat fight was going on and then um, so arjuna was reluctant but in this case right um, so we all might be or knowing or have heard about the episode of ashwatthama right um, so who is ashwatthama do we know anyone no okay so ashwatthama is dronacharya's son okay so the battle was going on right the kurukshetra battle was going on and then it was coming to an end okay so by then uh, duryodhana was actually injured so bhima sena had actually fractured his spine okay and uh, so here ashwatthama actually does an heinous act okay so which is very barbaric yeah so and the being a brahmana right so he should not have done that but he did it so he actually killed the five sons of pandavas who were sleeping yeah so when they were sleeping right um, so ashwatthama actually wanted to please his master so ashwatthama's master is who duryodhana yeah to please his master right he cut the heads of um, the sleeping ch- children of pandavas eh? so and then he actually takes them and then he presents them to duryodhana okay uh, and then uh, he thinks that uh, he'll be appreciated with the work which he has done yeah but duryodhana and uh, he says that uh, i have killed the pandavas yeah Duryodhana knows that this is not Pandavas because it's not that easy to kill them. And then Duryodhana actually touches the skull and then he understands that these are not Pandavas and then they were very soft. So he got to know that he killed the children who were sleeping, right? So he also become very angry. So he didn't like this act. So he didn't like Ashwatthama's act right so this is what it happens right in our uh, material life also right so we act whimsically because so in this situation right one thing is neither is following the shastra nor so he is doing something on his own right so whatever he likes in right so because we know right um, even uh, in uh, bhagavad gita also in one of the purport prabhupad writes in right so we should not um, So the aggressors the five types of aggressors have been uh, described right so wherein who should not be left right uh, who should be punished right uh, there are five kinds of aggressors so one who's an uh, who sets the fire to house right and then the other one who's who admit uh, who administers poison right and then somebody attacks 
with a deadly weapon yeah all of a sudden so without having any weapons on the other side right and then somebody plunders the wealth of the others yeah and then if somebody entices one's wife right the other person's wife so all these are aggressors and then for them right punishment is the only way so we can't let them go and then tell them that okay so we'll give mercy petitions and all right so those things won't work here yeah so in this case also right this was a heinous act so he thought that um, his master duryodhana will actually uh, be happy but that didn't happen nor it was an um, right thing to do right so morally also so being a brahman uh, he should educate that but he didn't have those values okay so that's what it happens right even if the incompetents take to the power right so they'll do all nonsense um, so even if you look in right uh, in the current situation also there are so the leaders who do not have proper knowledge right of this uh, vedic knowledge and all right so they act whimsically right and then every time they try to anchor for power so nobody talks about peace yeah so everyone wants to anchor at somebody right or somebody wants to show power right and then this is all the game which is going on right so that's all ashwatthama did right so wrong thing so then actually so I, he had to be punished so for sure right so so if somebody does this there is no other choice right so think even if you would have been there right so what would have we have done punish him right so if you all remember similar case happened in hyderabad some years ago right so when she one of the lady was been uh, uh, assaulted brutally right so and then they were killed so that's the action which has to be taken by the police right so else because for those acts right there is no other solution yeah. so in here right after doing this uh, sudrapati so actually wakes up in the morning and then sees that uh, the children don't have head and then she laments she cries loudly and then the pandavas come out and uh, they also are very grieved and then arjuna says gives a vow to her says that he says that i'll cut ashwatthama's head right and then i'll bring it to you so until then um, say we we'll wait and um, we will we'll do the uh, rituals of uh, the bodies um, and then say you can stand on the head of uh, ashwatthama and then uh, you can bath and those things he gives a vow that i'll cut the head of ashwatthama and then what happens is uh, he along with lord krishna right his chariot so they actually take up uh, so he takes up all the arms and uh, ammunitions and then say they start for searching ashwatthama so and then by the force which they go on right say krishna and arjuna so when they were approaching right seeing them he started fleeing so he was also running 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 and then at at a time came wherein he knew that so i, I can't handle this eh? and then for sure i'll be killed so what this person does is ashatham he actually sends he chants the mantra and then he sends brahmastra okay so he i uh, sends those um, to kill uh, arjuna okay so it's nothing but more like a nuclear bomb okay so it has so much of heat and all right so it was coming through and uh, so at that time right um, arjuna actually sees that okay arjuna sees that um, there is a lot of heat waves which are coming in right so he doesn't understand saying that what is happening 
all of a sudden there is so much of heat generated and all right and the environment has completely changed at that time he doesn't understand so what is going on and then he starts these prayers okay so he actually takes again uh, the shelter of lord krishna okay and then uh, he actually starts his prayers yeah so this is the backdrop so where krishna arjuna again um, takes the shelter of uh, lord krishna because he didn't understand what is happening yeah they were chasing and all of a sudden everything has changed yeah so arjuna vacha yeah krishna krishna mahabhavo bhakta nam bhayankar tameko dhayamanam aparva apavargo asi samsriti so this is what um, arjuna is starting with the prayers yeah so wherein he says that arjuna vacha arjuna said krishna krishna o oh lord krishna mahabhavo he is almighty right bhakta naam of the devotees abhayankara eradicating the fears of tam you ekah alone dhayamanam those who are suffering from apavarga the path of liberation asi ar samsrite in the midst of material misery so he is actually in here right he is taking the shelter of lord krishna okay so he is actually asking so he is actually giving offering the prayers to krishna saying that you are the almighty right and then you are the one who actually eradicates so you are the almighty of the devotees right um, and you are the one who eradicates the fears so wherever there are confusions where we don't know what to do and all those things right the lord guides in so if we are dependent on him right so that's there in bhagavad gita also right ye yatha mam prapartyante right so and then he says that you are the one who can actually lift us from the sufferings of the material miseries yeah so translation yeah. arjuna said oh my lord krishna sri krishna you are the almighty personality of the godhead there is no limit to your different energies therefore only you are competent to instill fearlessness in the hearts of your devotees everyone in the flames of material miseries can find the path of liberation in you only okay that's what the lord says yeah so he says that you are the almighty personality of godhead so he is again confirming yeah that you are the only one who can help me from the sun then there is no limit to your different energies yeah therefore only you are competent to instill fearlessness in the hearts of your devotees yeah so because a pure devotee right as he is always in touch with the lord right who is in total samadhi so he is he doesn't fear for these material things yeah because he knows that the lord is there and then the lord will guide him yeah so that's the thing which arjuna actually starts with the prayers yeah okay any mata ji or prabhu ji can you read this purport please Yes, Prabhuji, I'll read. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Arjuna was aware of the transcendental qualities of Lord Krishna, as he had already experienced them during the Kurukshetra war, in which both of them were present. Therefore, Arjuna's version of Lord Krishna is author- authoritative. Krishna is Almighty and is especially the cause of fearlessness for the de- devotees. A devotee of the Lord is always fearless. because of the protection given by the lord material existence is something like a blazing fire in the forest which can be extinguished by the mercy of the lord krishna lord shri krishna the spiritual master is the mercy representative of the lord therefore a person burning in the flames of material existence may receive the rains of mercy of the lord 
through the transparent medium of the self-realized spiritual master. The spiritual master, by his words, can penetrate into the heart of the suffering person and inject knowledge transcendental, which alone can extinguish the fire of the material existence. Hare Krishna Prabhu Ji. Hare Krishna Mataji. So here, uh, so if you look in that, so this is also an emergency, right? So wherein something is blazing in the sky, right? And then still there, right? Arjuna actually first prays, right? Because, see, Krishna is sitting as a charioter very close to him, right? He would have directly asked Krishna, what is this? But he, he doesn't do that. So that is what, right? So wherever there are rules, vidhis, right? We can't jump to them, okay? So Arjuna, and he was aware of the qualities and everything, right? So, and then he knew that the Lord is with him, right? And the only thing, right? So whenever we are there, right? If we are facing any challenges, right? So we should actually go to our spiritual master, right? So we should take the suggestions or the blessings from the spiritual masters to move, right? Uh, move ahead, right? Similarly, in our family also, right? So whenever there is a problem, so we go to the elders, right? So whosoever it is, either it could be a father, it could be a grandfather, right? And then we seek their suggestions to move ahead, right? So similarly, in this case also, Arjuna is basically taking the shelter. Yeah? So he is not doing... See, the difference between Ashwatthama and Arjuna is... See, Ashwatthama actually did whatever he liked. Yeah? Even sending the Brahmastra, right? You see, so how uh, whimsical it is, right? So one thing is he killed him. So you see the second thing also which he does in. So he actually sends the Brahmastra, right? So, see the kind of mentality he has. So, neither he knows that he'll be also killed. So, if he gets killed, nobody should uh, exist. Yeah. So, that is what his mentality is. So, along with him, everyone should die. And the other thing, you know, uh, the other aspect is, Ashwatthama only learned how to release Brahmastra, but he doesn't know how to retract it. Okay. So this is again, the problem is he was inefficient. So he was he was not capable to get that uh, degree. Right. So, but, so, because Dronacharya was his father, right. So out of his sentiment and all those things, right. Um, so, Ashwatthama had requested him to actually teach him to shoot the Brahm, Brahmastra, right? But he never learned how to retract it. Yeah? Because to retract, right, the senses have to be in control. And then Ashwatthama is very unstable person. So, he can't do that. And then he never learned that. So that's the kind of thing which happens when we don't have a, a, a guru or we don't have some guidance, right? So if you act whimsically, then things become in a wrong way, right? So, so see, he's not following anything, right? He does what his mind tells. So that doesn't help anywhere, right? So that's the thing. So that's the difference. But Arjuna, as soon as he saw, even though there is a danger, right? So he actually did all the formalities. So he's praying, right? First thing is we'll have to pray to the Lord and then ask for the shelter, right? And then post that, the Lord actually gives us the required knowledge, right? So else things will not work in, right? Even for this, the same thing happens for our uh, uh, material things also, right? So the material attachments which we have got in, right? So, and then we are actually doing so many things whimsically also, right? So we don't know so what is right and what is wrong also, right? right? And then um, to actually burn those unnecessary desires and all, right? So unwanted things to purify ourselves, we chant, right? So that's what we do in the morning, right? And then that's the sadhana which is given to us 
to purify our hearts, right? Uh, and then so get rid of all these things, right? So Kama Krodha, Lobha, right? So we shouldn't have those things because we can't develop in Bhakti if we have those things, right? And the medicine is already there. So, and in the morning, we even take the mercy of the spiritual master, right? So in our Mangalarti, we do that, right? So we sing Samsara Dhava, right? So we, we say Samsara Dhava, Nalalida Luka, Pranaya Karunya, Ghana Ghanatom, right? So wherein, so that's the mercy. We are seeking the mercy of the Lord to actually uh, to actually shut the material blazing fire which we have in, right? So he should come in the form of uh, rains and then he should actually subsidize that material blazing fire which we have, right? So the same thing. Uh, so here also it has been said, a person burning in flames of material existence may receive the reins of mercy of the Lord through the transparent medium of self-realized spiritual master. So that's what Arjuna is also asking for. Yeah? So, and then we'll see the next verse what happens here. Yeah? And then still the prayers are going on. Yeah. Uh, so this is the uh, second prayer. Yeah. So wherein um, Arjuna says that Pamadya Purusha Saksha Ishvara Prakrite Para Mayam Yudhasya Chik Chaktya Kaivalya Stita Atmani. Yeah. So this is. The next verse, so wherein he says that first thing is his take, he's glorifying basically the Lord. Okay. And then in this, he'll say that so you are the supreme authority, and then you are the controller of both material world and the spiritual world, right? So nothing moves, right? And then you are the one who knows best what is happening, right? And nothing can happen without your mercy. Right. So unless the will of the Lord, right, nothing can happen. So that's the reason he's praying in that mood and then he's asking, yeah. So synonyms, yeah. So Adhya, you are the original. So again he's saying you are the original Purusha, the enjoying personality, right? Shaksha directly, Ishwara, the controller, prakriti of material nature, para transcendental, Mayam, the material energy, Vyudasya. One who has thrown aside Chit Shaktya by the dint of internal potency, Kaivalya, in pure eternal knowledge and bliss, Stita placed Atmani on own self. Yeah? So, translation You are the original personality of Godhead who expands himself all over the creation and is transcendental to material energy. Okay? So, he expands himself all over the creation and is transcendental to material energy. You have cast away the effects of the material energy by dint of your spiritual potency. You are always situated in eternal bliss and transcendental knowledge. So this is what the Lord's position is, right? He creates, right? And then he is the supreme controller. He is the supreme enjoyer. And then he is the friend of all the living entities, right? So this we have in our Bhagavad Gita also, right? Bhuktaram Yagnatapasam Sarvaloko Maheshwaram. Right? So there also we have that peace formula, three peace formulas we discussed. Okay, sorry. Uh, probably in uh, Bhagavad Gita L2 I might have discussed. But yes, so there, I say that bit is there, right? So that's the peace formula, which if we know, right? Uh, it's there in the fifth chapter, so we're in we know that the Lord is the supreme enjoyer, he is the controller and he is the friend. He is the only friend for all the living entities. If we know this, then your life would be peaceful. Eh? Okay. Uh, Prabhu, Lakshmi Prabhu, you want to read this purport? Hare Krishna Prabhu, I'll read Hare Krishna. <coughs> The Lord 
uh, states in the Bhagavad Gita that one who surrenders unto the lotus feet of the Lord can get release from the clutches of nescience. Krishna is just like the sun and maya or material existence is just like darkness. Whenever there is the light of the sun, darkness or ignorance at, at once vanishes. The best uh, means to get out of the world of ignorance is suggested here. The Lord is addressed herein as the original personality of Godhead. From him, all other personalities of Godhead expand. Personalities of Godhead expand. The all-pervasive yeah. Yeah, all Lord Vishnu is Lord Krishna's plenary portion of uh, uh, the expansion. The Lord expands uh, the himself in innumerable forms of Godhead and living beings, beings along with his different energies. But Sri Krishna is the original uh, primeval Lord from whom everything emanates. The all pervasive features feature of the Lord experienced uh, within the uh, within the manifested manifested world is also a partial representation of the Lord. Paramatma, therefore, is included within Him. He uh, the, He is the absolute personality of Godhead. He has nothing to do with the actions and reactions of the material manifestation because he, he is far above the material creation. Darkness is a uh, perverse representation of the sun. I, and therefore, the existence of darkness depends on the existence of the sun. But the sun, but, but in the sun proper, there is no trace of darkness. As the sun is full of light only, similarly, the absolute personality of Godhead beyond the material existence is full of bliss. He, he is not only full of bliss, but also full of transcendental variegatedness. Trans, transcendence is not at all static, but full of dynamic variegatedness. He is distinct from the material nature, nature which is com complicated by the three modes of material nature. He is Paramatma or the Chief. Therefore, He is Absolute. Uh, he has manifold energies and through His diverse energies, He creates, manifests, maintains and destroys the material world. In His own abode, however, everything is eternal and absolute. The world is not conducted by the energies of or powerful agents by themselves, but by the potent all powerful with all energies. Uh, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. So here, right? So he's again confirming, right? So in Bhagavad Gita also we have, right? Um, so everything, the living entities and the non-living entities, moving and non-moving beings, everything, right? So everything actually move under this material energies under his uh, control, right? So that's Maya Dekshena Prakriti Syote Sacharacharam Hetunane Kontaya Jagat Vipari Vartate, right? So this is the thing wherein the Lord says that the material energy is one of his energy, right? Under whose direction, right? All moving and non living beings manifest, they are created and annihilated again and again, right? So that's what uh, is being spoken here. So he is the controller of everything, right? And then even uh, we know, right? Devi Yesha Gunamaya, Mama Maya Duratya. So even the Maya, right? So Maya is also his energy only, right? So everything. So he has basically he has got three energies, right? External, internal, and marginal. So all these energies are of the Lord. Okay. And then he says that so wherever we actually put the Lord in the center, right? So then the darkness is removed. Okay.
okay so whatever material darkness we have got right so the, that can be only eliminated with the sun okay so without the sun right um, the darkness will be there okay so if we bring lord into the center right so what happens is so we'll have lighting right so it's like sunlight once there is lighting right there is no question of material darkness okay so either it should be light or dark okay so there is no other option so we don't have in between okay so that's the thing <clears throat> and the lord is always there and then he's always helping but it is our, our way of seeing things yeah so how dependent we are so if we feel that we are the masters and then we can do ourselves then it's gone so you'll not get the mercy of the lord right so he is independent and merciful right uh, so he doesn't actually if you look in right he doesn't actually have any rules and regulations right and then he actually creates the nature right by the glance so he looks the prakriti by his glance and then he impregnates all the living entities right so that's how uh, things come and he is aloof from it so and so these are little bit contradictory statements right so the lord creates and then he is aloof right and uh, he is again um, with us as parmatma right uh, and he is again sitting in the abode right so all these things are that's all the lord is right so it's not easy uh, if, even lord brahma couldn't know the past times or so he himself was bewildered so where are we so we are not even a small jeeva so we only live for hardly 100 years what we know about the lord so that's not even a fraction of lord brahma right so similarly so if you look right um, say he is what if you look in lord krishna is husband of lord is lakshmi right so but still he actually steals butter right so do we have anyone who is greater than god goddess lakshmi nothing right so all karapati jarapati all end up at lakshmi ji right and then he is lakshmi pati but he still steals butter huh eh? and then he is the fear he instills fear in time and death right by seeing him right the demons right um, say all the demons were fearful right but he actually fears for yashoda mata stick right so that's how um, so things are how the lord is right and then he is with us to guide us parmatma right and uh, he is the chief yeah so there is no second thought yeah then all the energies which we see in right everything is from the lord yeah so that's that's what he is actually reaffirming all and then he is basically surrendering to the lord and then he is asking for the guidance yeah Uh, prabhu ji one hmm? question i had uh, you mentioned that uh, um, that uh, uh, krishna ji looks at uh, the either the uh, you know through his glance he impregnates and creates uh, living beings yes. so living entities so but it's also said that brahma ji created living entities so which statement is correct uh, prabhu ji so brahma ji actually created the models of the cars okay so mm-hmm. but the engine was fit by the lord so the varieties were being created by lord brahma but the life air and all right so that came from the lord yeah yeah, yeah. thank you thank you prabhu ji hari krishna man so स एव जीवलोक मया मोहित चेत विदत्से स्वेन वीर श्रेयोधमादी लक्षण 
also synonyms. Saha, the transcendence, eva, certainly, jiva lokasya, of the conditioned living beings. Maya mohita, captivated by the illusory energy, chetasam, by the heart. Vidatse, execute, sena, by your own, virena, influences, shreya, ultimate good. Dharma, the four principles of liberation. Lakshanam, characterized by translation. And yet, though you are beyond the purview of the material energy, you execute the four principles of liberations, categorized by religion and so on, for the ultimate good of the conditioned souls. Hare Krishna, perfect. Um, Pravin Prabhu, you want to read? Uh, Kailash Mataji, you want to read Mataji? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Babu. The personality of God at Sri Krishna, out of his causeless mercy, descends to the manifested world without being influenced by the material modes of nature. He is eternally beyond the material manifestations. He descends out of his causeless mercy only to reclaim the fallen souls who are captivated by the illusory energy. They are attacked by the material energy and they want to enjoy her under false pretext. Although in essence the living entity is unable to enjoy, one is eternally the servitor of the Lord and when he forgets this position, he thinks of enjoying the material world. But factually he is in illusion. The Lord descends to eradicate this false sense of enjoyment and thus reclaim conditioned souls back to Godhead. That is the all-merciful nature of the Lord for the fallen souls. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Mata. So this is what happens, right? So we actually think, looking at the Maya, right? So we get entangled into it, right? And then, we, so we are dancing in the material modes of nature, right? But the Lord is not influenced with it, right? So, and... As we are entangled and we know, right, so whenever the demonic qualities become more and uh, the pious people are tortured and then uh, so when the devotees are not being treated properly, right, so at that time, right, the Lord descends, right, so the Lord descends and then he comes, either he comes in or he sends his representatives, right, to fix it, right. And the whole thing, right, the Lord need not come here, right, so because he's in the abode and this material energy is only a one-fourth of the Brahmanda, right. The three-fourth portion, which is there, right, so that's all spiritual world. And, but he's so merciful, that he's coming to this jail. Okay. The reason why he is coming to the jail, right? Material energy we know, right? So this is Dukkhalayam Ashashvatam. So this is like a jail. Right? So there is a difference between a jail and a hotel. Right? Hospital and a hotel, right? Sorry. So for a, so this material world is like an hospital. Yeah? So where we have come for the treatment. Yeah? So if you look in, right? Um, so, if at all, say for an example, right? So, if we have um, in India, we have the prime minister, right? So, if he wants, right? So, on his will, he can actually go uh, to the jail, right? And then he can actually uh, meet with the jailmates, right? So, but that's, uh, that does not mean that he has done some crime, so he has gone to the jail. So it is his mercy, so wherein he wants to go and then he wants to uh, talk to them and then so possibly he wants to spend some time, right? And then he wants to make them as good citizens, right? So that's something he can do it, right? Similarly, the Lord is taking an effort, right? So he's putting those effort for us. He's guiding us, right? Um, and then he wants always us to take back to Godhead, right? So, because this is not our award, right? He wants us to take back, but yeah, for one reason or the other, 
due to our false ego, right? So we are not dependent on him and then she want to stay back here. So, but he is so merciful, right? Who cannot be more merciful than this? Yeah? And then we think that this temporary world is what is everything, right? So everything is illusion. So we are living in a perverted reflection, right? So it's like the perverted mango tree in the water. So if there are mangoes in the perverted tree, right, in the water, so you can't go and relish the mangoes, right? So this material world is like that. You can see mangoes everywhere. But if you go and try to eat, there will be nothing, right? Because this is all illusion. So, but wherein, if at all, uh, we go to the spiritual world and everything is real, right? So, you get the real man goes there. Yeah? So, and then he's giving the purpose also, why the Lord descend, yeah? So, the next verse, right? Tathayam cha... Tathayam cha vartaste bhuva bhara jiharasya svanam cha na svanam cha ananya bhavanam anudha yanaya chashkrat. Okay. Tatha, thus I am, this cha and av avatara. So incarnation te you. Bhuva of the material world, bhara, burden, jiharasya of removing, svanam of the friends, cha ananya bhava nam of the exclusive devotees, anudhya anya. So for remembering repeatedly, cha and asakrat, fully satisfied. Yeah? Thus you descend as an incarnation to remove the burden of the world and to benefit your friends, especially those who are exclusive devotees and uh, are constantly wrapped in meditation upon you. So he is doing this. So this is nothing but Sarva Dharma and Paritajya Mamekam Saranam. No, no, this is not Sarva Dharma and Paritajya. So this is the other one. Um, Paritranaya Sadhanam. Yeah. So the Lord descends whenever there is wrong things more, right? So when it is more prevalent, then the Lord comes in and then he actually settles this. Mataji, Milinda Mataji, you can read this part. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. It appears that the Lord is partial to his devotees. Everyone is related with the Lord. He is equal to everyone, and yet he is more inclined to his own men and devotees. The Lord is everyone's father. No one can be his father, and yet no one can be his son. His devotees are his kinsmen, and his devotees are his relations. This is his transcendental pastime. It has nothing to do with mundane ideas of relations, fatherhood, or anything like that. As mentioned above, the Lord is above the modes of material nature, and thus there is nothing mundane about his kinsmen and relations in devotional service. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji. So, this is the last prayer which he has offered. Yeah? So, he's, he says that so you give the equal chance. Okay. So, it is up to the individual due to our... Uh, independence right so whether what do we want to choose yeah so it's all uh, the choice which is there right so everyone has got uh, the choice right say now right everyone has got money right so whosoever is working right they have got the money but the choice is with them how fruitfully they want to use that money right if you want to use them in enjoying weekend parties, nobody can stop you, right? Because it is your will to go and enjoy, right? But is that the thing which the Lord has asked? No, right? So the Lord has sent us to actually do devotional service, right? And then practice whatever we can 
in our circumstances and then go back to godhead right instead of that if we start drinking and all intoxications and all those things we start right so it's our problem so choice is with us so he has given equal opportunity but it depends upon what do you choose whether you should choose a temple or a liquor shop yeah so and then if you see right the lord who gives the chance to his devotees right so because he is the ultimate right and then he is the um, primeval right but still he gives the chance for his devotees to become his father and then he becomes the son and then he does the past times he becomes fearful yeah these are all very nice and then if you hear these things any number of times right you'll never get bored but say any other mundane subject if you read right so once you read it's okay but you can't re relish the books forever but if you take bhagavad gita you can relish any number of times yeah so this is what it happens and then now he has asked now he is asking uh, oh lord of lords how is it that this dangerous effulgence is spreading all around where does it come from i do not understand it so now he is asking so after his prayers right so he is asking i don't know so what is happening so please guide me so this is the first time so where the lord actually speaks in shrimad bhagavatam okay he says that the supreme personality of god had said know from me that this is the act of the son of drona he has thrown the hymns of nuclear energy brahmastra and he does not know how to retract the glare he has helplessly done this being afraid of imminent death okay this is what the lord says that so now he is he told to arjuna saying that uh, all this problem is due to the brahmastra which ashatthama has uh, a shot and then uh, because he was fearful of his death so and then he gives the solution also so he now he says that he instructs arjuna that he will have to send a counter brahmastra okay and then you see uh, say uh, at the in the past right so all these things uh, were all transcendental yeah so they were actually try they were actually using hints so the hints had so much of power right so that they could um, actually meditate on it and then if they shoot the arrow right so it was equivalent to a nuclear weapon yeah so that's the difference between our nuclear weapons and at that time right so you see and then to counteract also he said that so as he has sent one you'll have to send another okay and then so whatever brahmastra was being sent um, by ashwatthama right to counteract that uh, uh he sends the other one um so arjuna actually sends in and then so both collide and then what happens is there is blazing heat which gets generated as the cosmic energy right so it, it's more like the sun heat right so the whole uh, and env- the environment and the universe starts burning and even the heat sensation is actually uh, found in the higher planetary systems also right so after this things happen right so you see so as he asks o oh arjuna only another brahmastra can counteract this weapon okay so to send this also again arjuna actually circumambulates the lord okay so he he follows all rules pakka in it yeah so see arjuna touches the water for purification and after circumambulating the lord he casts his brahmastra right so this is the thing right so it's not that um, say we are in urgency and then we'll ignore something yeah so you can't bypass the rules which are there right in the whatever is been given right we should never bypass we should try to do it as much as we can yeah you see say even the brahmastra 
is there but that's the difference between arjuna and others right so arjuna did it right so combined a great so what happened is a great circle of fire like the disk of the sun covered them so now what happens is so all the people had were getting this heat of this weapon yeah right and then the other thing is seeing the disturbance right um, arjuna so arjuna only had the power to retract the brahmastra weapon but the other person didn't have okay and then all these things right so krishna actually desired that that should be retract because it's all in his will only right so unless if it, the lord would have wanted then he could have done anything right but so he wanted arjuna to actually retract that because nothing can destroy right so no brahmastra can destroy unless there is a will of the lord right krishna should approve right so he said that will have to retract okay so he retracts and then um arjuna actually catch holds of uh, ashatama right and then he binds him as an animal and then he drags him to the courtyard of um, so to the battlefield courtyard right so where draupadi was there right and um, so krishna now actually while binding up only krishna says that um, he tests again arjuna he says that um, see he has done a, such a heinous act and then um, he needs to be killed okay but uh, arjuna was a rajrishi right so he knows the shastras and everything he said that no no i will not kill him so i promise that um, i'll take him to draupadi so he doesn't do that so and then though he was very angry right it's been said that arjuna's eyes were like red copper so he drags him and um, say he puts in front of draupadi right and then draupadi actually feels very bad that um, a brahmana is being treated like this but on the other side right there is no fault in treating a brahmana in that way when he has done an heinous act okay so and then um, so what happens is um, so bhimasena says that he should be killed okay and uh, the other side right so now and then he was coming okay and uh, arjuna actually looks at krishna right so krishna actually stops so he takes his chaturbhuja form and then he stops bhima okay and uh, so and then um, it, what happens is uh, even draupadi gives her version saying that uh, see he is um, your guru putra and then you have learned all the archeries and everything from him right so and then you should not actually kill him okay and then she says that we should leave him and then what will happen to kripi right so ashwatthama's mother so she will also again go through the pains which i have been going through now right because my children have are dead so don't do the same to your guru mata right she puts her case forward see the situation is such that her own children are killed right and then how much anger and anguish will we have for the other person so had it been we right we would have told him that he needs killing but see the heart of draupadi she says that no so this act i am already going through this and then this should not uh, then uh, so your guru mata should not go through this and and the other thing is she has lost her husband in the battlefield and then for her right he is the only caretaker right so we should not deprive her from all these things yeah so her comment is that and this way right uh, 
uh, Bhimasena is come marching towards him with a sword saying that he'll kill her. Okay. So Krishna had to stop both the parties and then he looked at Arjuna. Okay. And then uh, he knew that Arjuna will do the right thing. So what did Arjuna do is, so he, he had a jewel in his head. So he cut his hair and the jewel. Okay. So, so may, more or like uh, he lost all his power, Ashwatthama or whatever he had, right? So he lost his power. So it was like suicide only, right? So it was like more than a killing a person. And then he was left as an animal. So he didn't have any power or anything, right? So he was living though, but so he lost all his power and everything. So in that way, right? So Arjuna actually solves the problem amicably, right? So though he was alive, but he made him as dead. Eh? So he actually counterbalanced both of the thing. Eh? And even so when um, Draupati was uh, sharing her comments, right? Uh, even Yudhishthir Maharaj also supported her and then share, said that whatever she says was right. And then slowly other brothers joined. So Arjuna was on the was neutral. The other way, uh, Yudhishthir Maharaj, Nakul, Sahadev and Draupati were actually in favor of not killing, but Bhimsena was in the favor of killing. Yeah? So at last, so in this way, right, um, the story or this episode comes to an end. So this was the class which I wanted to cover for today. Hare Krishna Prabhuji and Matajis. So if you have any queries, we'll take. If not, then uh, in the next session, we'll take up Queen Quinty's prayers. Eh? Oh, Prabhuji's and Mataji's, you are able to understand, right? Uh, or is it uh, something we are going fast or you are not able to understand? I am able to understand, Prabhuji. It's very clear. Okay. Okay, then uh, I'll leave you all. Thank you for your association. Mancha Kalpataro Vyascha Kripa Sindhu Vyayavacha Patita Nam Pavanebo Vaishnavyo Namo Namo. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna Mat.